previous lecture we have discussed about the different kinds of relations, attributes, entity and about the basics of database management system. In this session of the lectures we are going to discuss about the attributes and uh, its different types. So here we have a majorly divided four types of attributes. Here we have taken uh, two different uh, types of attributes in a single manner like simple attributes versus composite attributes. So means here we have a two different kind of attributes are there. One is simple attribute and second one composite attribute. So now question is what is a simple attribute and what is a composite attribute. So the simple attribute is deals with with reference to the composite attribute. Composite attribute is nothing but a attribute which can be divided or decomposed further. It means let us suppose you have taken as for example name. Decompose means can you break the particular attribute into more than one fields? Of course. So that kind of attributes is going to be called composite attribute. It means name is there. So name can be divided into two parts or three parts. So we can tell sir my first name, my last name or also we can tell my surname. So this name fields can be divided into more than one parts. So that is a, if it can be any attribute, if it can be decomposed, then it is going to be called composite attribute. If any attribute is non-divisible, means it is a minimum level of non-distinguishable, so then it is going to be called a simple attribute. So here you can take sir age is a simple attribute. It means age part is there we can't divide age part into further like first age and last age we can't take but in age part also we can tell sir in age you can enter years and the months and days also you can do. So this age also can be divided into three parts. So in this condition age can be your composite attributes. So depends upon your wish how you want to create a database you can make any attribute as a simple or you can create as a composite. Sometimes it may be possible you are creating a database and for the database you have taken name as an attribute not as a simple attribute. It means whole name whatever two or three names some combination of names are there that you are going to take in a one part as a name you can take let us suppose. So these three names fields are there. So all these three fields you have stored into only one name. So let us suppose same name you want to store three names combination of three names are there that you have stored into the single field. So in it's your database and how you want to create your database you can create it. It can be simple it can be multi composite. So here let us suppose you have taken a simple attributes. So in this condition all names is going to be uh, stored or recorded as a single field. So here all the names is going to be stored. So sometimes it may be possible you are interested to create a composite fields for the name itself. So for name itself only you are going to create a composite to do that what we are going to do. So name field will be distinguished with the first name last name or it can be a middle name also middle name. Okay. So here the same name if you want to store the first name will be R last name will be Navate and middle name will be S. here also the same thing Manish Singh Kumar. So this is a different kind of conventions how you want to create your database. Now that was simple uh, versus the composite attributes. Second one is a single valued attributes versus multi valued attributes. So single versus single valued attributes the attribute which is accepting only one value as a record. It means let us suppose I am asking you uh, what is your age I am storing age column. So you can't tell sir my age is 25 as well as a 27 age is going to be always stored as a one field. Let us suppose your age is there let us suppose age means either 25 or 27 or 26. It can be composite but it cannot have a multi valued because it is going to accept only one value. Let us suppose I ask you one name what is your name. So name is what is appearing into their certificates. So that is only one name it is accepting. It may contains multiple fields but not multiple value only one value. So here it will be single valued attribute versus multi valued attributes. Multi valued attributes means attributes which is accepting more than one values. As for example let us suppose I will ask how many courses you have opted for. It may be possible you have opted for one courses or multiple courses. How many mobile phones you have or I will ask mobile number. Mobile number it may be possible someone is having one mobile number or someone is contains, contains more than one mobile numbers. Similarly for any cars your address 
it may be possible you have only one address it may be possible you have a two address residence address correspondence address your permanent address as well office address so that can multi valued if any attribute going to accept more than one value that is nothing but the multi valued attributes now third one stored attributes versus derived attribute stored attribute means the attribute what you are storing at the time of a creation of a relations so let us suppose this is a database you are going to create so this table you have created so at the type or time of creation of this database what are the values you are storing it so let us suppose this is a student table you have created so in this one column is their date of birth you are storing so date of birth at the student is enrolling for the course or coming to the college you are storing this particular value date of birth so it may be possible first 31985 one field you have stored after 5 years your faculty wants to know the age of all the students or after 10 years someone wants to some another thing what is the age of a particular guy in this year let us suppose after 14 year 15 years they want to make you available for the uh, some uh, company job so at that time they are going to evaluate the age of the particular persons so you have stored this table and from this table they wants age because age you have not stored anywhere so we can derive age from the particular stored field so deriving means just whatever current date will be there that date minus the date of birth so that will be nothing but the derived attribute based upon the stored attribute whatever things you are extracting using any mathematics so that is nothing but the derived attributes it may be here the age let us suppose you are joining a company at that time uh, what they will store they will store date of joining they will store date of joining and after 5 years they want to give appraisal or they want to give some salary increment so they will see okay how many date of joining is there how much year experience you have so based upon the date of a joining they will ask they will search they will evaluate your experience table and then accordingly they will give a appraisal to you so that are the things based upon these things what we are extracting using some mathematics that is nothing but the derive attributes so this derive attribute we are not storing in our database storage of a database is only stored attributes whatever you are storing let us suppose you have stored a student database only we are storing marks so let us suppose you, uh, your university is going to declare a marks marks of the particular college so we all of us are getting some marks this no first class second class third class and all that so let us suppose 100 students are there total 100 students are there in a college and college principal wants give me the number of students who has a score more than 70% or more than 80% it means your university is not giving okay this 100 or 10 are there who is scoring more than 70% university is only declaring the total records this is the re result of your all the students once university is declaring all the records based upon that records we can extract how many are there from greater, greater than 60 greater than 80 percent marks greater than 70 percent marks so based upon the stored record result we can extract this all and based upon the extraction of this we can declare the prizes as well so that is nothing but the derived attributes now next one null attributes are the attributes which is values are either unknown or it is not available at all so let us suppose if you have created a student database and they will ask number of year of experience or your office address let us suppose office address one column you have created office address so for a particular students office address is not there it should be a blank so it may be possible that a student is working as a part time or he is having office address or it may be that he is not working he is not having any office number so that field is going to be null so the attribute value which is either value is unknown or values is not applicable so let us suppose as for mobile number it may be possible some students is having some mobile number some of them are not having so for that particular field it will be null or it may be possible at the time of a creation you don't know the mobile numbers the data is unavailable so that is a null attributes so one precautions majorly you have to take care while you are creating a database you should always think of it should always deals with a less number of null tuples so before creation of a database you have to think of which kind of a database you are going to create what are the users what will be records i am going to store and based upon the type of database or records we are creating our fields let us suppose you are going to create a table for the farmers 
farmers you are creating a records for the farmers so always you should think of the farmers eligibility criteria you should not ask for the what is the eligible what qualifications what is the house address what is the uh, their mobile number contact number this all the fields you can create it because since it's your database you can create it but in that column it will be always it will leads to a more number of null tuples because for farmers we don't have any kind of office address they don't have a house number they don't have the qualifications might be some of them have but many of them is going to be for null values so always you should avoid null attributes in your given relations so whenever you are going to create a database you should always think of it should not leads to more number of null attributes